Hello, I'm Thomas Rohde, Archbishop of Mobile, and I would like to share a word with you about the situation regarding Alex Crow. In July, Alex Crow abandoned his parish to go to Europe with a young female parishioner who had recently graduated from McGill Tulin. Like many of you, I was confused and appalled and hungry for information and explanation. I wanted to talk with you about this as your Archbishop, but I was hampered in my ability to do so by both a lack of information to give and an active criminal investigation. I wanted to be able to provide facts, not speculation, and I did not want to do anything that might interfere with or impede the district attorney or the Mobile County Sheriff's Office's ability to get to the bottom of what occurred and prosecute if appropriate. So I conveyed the information that I could, that I had removed Alex Crow's faculties to act as a priest and that I did not see any way forward for him to return to ministry. The core facts have not changed. To my knowledge, law enforcement continues to investigate this matter. Alex Crow is barred from acting as a priest, and I still do not know the full circumstances of Alex Crow's relationship with the young woman in question. But despite the lack of new facts, I feel I must speak out now, at least about my own knowledge, to address potential misconceptions that seem to be circulating. To my knowledge, no one ever accused Alex Crow of sexual misconduct of any kind prior to his departure in July. No one personally raised concerns about Alex Crow and sexual misconduct with me, and the Office of Child Protection has informed me that no one reported to them that Alex Crow had engaged in sexual misconduct. I did receive complaints by some about his ministry, his preaching, and whether he was acting in accordance with church teaching. But these complaints were not about sexual misconduct. We received reports about Alex Crow's behavior with the young woman in question on a trip in June following her graduation, and shortly before their departure. But these reports did not allege sexual misconduct, and the Office of Child Protection opened a file to begin investigating these reports. Upon learning about Crow's departure, the Archdiocese immediately reported the incident to law enforcement. The Archdiocese did this not because it knew or even suspected Crow had committed a crime, but out of an abundance of caution. The Archdiocese did not know what might have occurred and understood that law enforcement would be in the best position to investigate and assist the young woman's family. The Archdiocese wants to know the truth of what occurred here. I want to know the truth. So in addition to fully cooperating with law enforcement's investigation, the Archdiocese has also been conducting its own internal investigation with the assistance of outside legal counsel to try and better understand how Alex Crow conducted himself while he was a priest in this Archdiocese with adults and minors and the nature of his relationship with the young woman in question during the critical time when she was a student. When I arrived in Mobile 15 years ago, I promised that sexual misconduct by clergy in this archdiocese would not be tolerated and that all accusations of sexual misconduct with minors would be reported to civil authorities. That promise has been kept and will continue to be honored. It is my deepest hope and most sincere prayer that there are 
and will be no incidents of sexual misconduct to report. However, if anyone has a concern about sexual misconduct, whether something that occurred recently or in the past, they should immediately contact the Archdiocese Office for the Protection of Minors and Adults and notify the civil authorities. There is a wealth of information on how to report as well as about the Child Protection Program on our website at mobarch.org slash child protection. The Archdiocese is committed to thoroughly addressing complaints. However, it can best do so when thorough reports are made to those who are best equipped to investigate them. Thank you, and may God bless you.